Hey there, Brewberries. What's up? And welcome to another episode of Brew and Build. Today, well, apparently I'm getting my legs chopped off. Let's get off of that thing or get over here. There we go. Today, we're going to be working on this big circle. And this is going to be the windmill. Yes, we are finally getting into the windmill. I have not designed. Oops, sorry. I slapped my microphone. I didn't. I have not designed yet a design um and that is because i i kind of want to do it on the fly i want to do it in survival i am working off of a piece of concept art i do have to say thank you so much for those of you that put in some concept art stuff some build inspirations and stuff in the build inspiration section in discord that has been immensely helpful because we're actually using one of them to build this windmill and so i want to say thank you to specifically Okay, I'm going to entirely butcher your name, but I'm sorry. Oro, Auro, or Uro, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so sorry about that. But thank you so much for that concept art that you have shared. You shared a couple of them, and one of them is actually the one that we're going to go with because I think it was a cool design, and it kind of I think it fits with this. I think I can make it work with this build style. It's not going to be a perfect rep representation of that piece, but... I'll show it at the end as well for any of you who are curious, but I don't want to give away what the thing, build's going to be. That is what we're doing today. We're going to be working entirely on at least the build itself, the building. Um, I'm not really sure if we're going to do the landscaping around it. I really don't know what's going to take place. So the main windmill is still going to probably be roughly this big. I think that's a that it's a decent size. It is going to still be circular, so it's still going to work like that. But I don't think we're going to do this whole wall concept I had before, and uh, that's okay. Oh, I entirely forgot that back wall. I knew this was missing, but oh. Ah, okay. Well, I don't I guess I forgot all that. Um I need to first gather some materials. We're entirely out of calcite. Uh, and I need to gather some calcite and I'm not actually, you know, I originally said I was going to use quartz on the windmill, but I don't think I'm going to primarily because I don't want to gather quartz. <laughs> That's honestly it. Um, and it's not like a fancy build like the, this is supposed to look like a fancy build and that uh, down there, the bathhouse is supposed to be like an older fancy build. Uh, and then the docks are supposed to be like a fancy type build. And I, I don't need the windmill to be that. So we're going to just stick with our normal palette uh, and using the diorite and the calcite mixture. We may throw in an occasional quartz accent like we did on this block, uh, this uh, build. But for the majority, it's going to be diorite and calcite. Now, I have finished this wall, some updates. I'm actually going to go into spectator mode. Let me know, firstly. Eh. All right. I guess we're down here. So I'm actually kind of curious about what your thoughts are on this. So I, for screenshots and stuff, the reason we have cheats on in this world is so that I can go into spectator mode to take screenshots of our builds for thumbnails and stuff on YouTube. It just makes life a little bit easier when you can just do it without having to log in a camera account. I log a camera account in for the actual like time lapses and stuff. Usually I use replay mod, but I just haven't this time around. Uh, and now with 118 coming out soon, I'm just not going to do it because eh, well, I'm going to have to get rid of it anyways. Um, so I'm curious what your thoughts are. Like, do, how many of you get turned off by a video when somebody goes into spectator mode to show a build? Like, because what I want to do is show you what this looks like. But the only way for me to easily do that without having to build a pillar in the middle of the water and then build up is to go into spectator mode. And I don't think we're not building, we're not doing anything in creative. It's purely spectator. So I don't really think that that's a bad thing. I just wanted to show what this build looks like now that we have all of the wall in. I think it looks pretty cool. And I don't really think the spectator mode is that big of a deal. But if you guys don't like it, I won't do it for videos. Still going to do it for screenshots. That is going to happen. But I won't do it for the videos. But this is what the wall looks like now that it, it is complete. And I really love this dock section here. We need to complete the legs on a couple of these, but we have some spruce trees are grown up there. So that's not that big of a deal. I love how this is turning out. Oh, we actually need to do some landscaping stuff. Maybe put a bench or something out over there. I've totally forgot about that backyard area. But this is what it's looking like. I put a little picnic spot over here. 
and I think it's really cutesy. I really enjoy it. It's uh, I was like, I don't know what to put here, but it seemed like a good place to it's a little small grassy area. You can get a good view of the, the ocean, the dock and stuff, and you can be surrounded by nature and have a little picnic. I thought it was a fun little idea. I didn't want to put like another tree or something. Didn't seem like a good place for a tree, but I love that. I, I do have to say the adding life. I am so glad I did it because this place feels so much more alive now that we've done this. And oh, I'm so thrilled about it. It's just so good. I'm loving it. You guys seem to have really enjoyed that last episode. Also, let me know that thumbnail. I spent a little bit more time doing it. Did that thumbnail make you want to click more because the word life was all fun looking? I'm kind of curious. I, I don't generally spend a ton of time on thumbnails, but that was one that I was like, eh, we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. And uh, it seemed, I mean, it's done really well compared to like the first day, especially did really well. And I think it's a, uh, it's been good. So yeah. Now today's episode is going to be pretty much all time lapse in terms of the building because of a couple things. I tend to, when I'm not, when I'm doing a build without a plan, I tend to get very rambly and I know myself and I know that I'll get very rambly. So because this is going to be a off the cuff type of build, just really looking at a piece of concept art and not really planning it out in a creative world, I'm going to do it in a time lapse because that'll also give me the mental freedom to really just go into the build and think about the build alone. Also, is this off center? I think this is off center. Oh, I did that on purpose. Yes, I remember this circles off center to this circle, but this is an actual legitimate circle. Yes. Okay. I understand now. And so just to give myself plenty of time to build, why don't we go ahead and jump on into it? I need to go gather some materials and stuff. Need to go gather some more calcite. Need to go gather some birch and all that stuff just so we can get into the build and get going real quick. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Jump into the build and I'll see you guys on the other side when hopefully we have a really cool windmill or at least a, a good start to it. So I'll see you guys in just a few. All right, I've been doing some work and we are at a good spot to be able to take a moment and talk about what we're doing and kind of the idea that I've got. You can see some stuff going on in the background. We're gonna look at that in a second, but I wanted to show you this. So I've been hard at work updating this. This video is actually going to be a full week late. I just decided to take my time and uh, build this up, get this all sorted away. And still, I ran out of diorite, so it's not fully finished, but the farm itself is done. Um, and so sorry about the lack of videos last week. Uh, it was just that I decided to take kind of the week off. We got, we had a long weekend. Emma is gone as well, the full weekend. And so I've just been 
using the time to just play games as I wanted and also recording a little bit ahead because I wanted to just get take the time to kind of get ahead rather than feeling like I needed to keep up with everything. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but using the time I'm using the time, but wanted to just, I don't know, spend a little bit of time playing games other than what I've been playing currently. So this farm has now, as you see, been transformed into two different farms. And I think it's going to be great. So originally I was planning on making an automatic kelp smelting farm, but that is not going to be able to happen because uh, the bamboo farm just isn't fast enough to keep up with it. So we've just transformed it. Originally I was going to grow bamboo to smelt the kelp, but the bamboo doesn't grow nearly fast enough to keep up with the amount. Because okay, it takes, if you didn't know, it takes four bamboo to cook one item in a furnace. So... To do that, I was going to use cookers, actually. So it takes actually, I think, maybe eight bamboo to cook kelp in a smoker. Um, and because of that, I thought that we might be able to keep up with the demand. Can't really do that. So that is why we no longer have an automatic smelting system, but we have a collection system nonetheless. So we have some just automatic farms going on. So when that singular, it's not super fast. Uh, if I had observers on every single line, it was it would probably be better. But I ran out of quartz and I don't need it to be super fast anyways. Uh, so we've got the two bamboo farms here, as you can see some uh, and it's not very like super, super efficient in that, like the bamboo that lands on the stalks themselves don't get picked up. I was trying with these uh, mine carts on the sides to do some shenanigans if they're close enough oh, phone come on now there we go it's all muted now but I, I essentially i only put the mine carts here just because if the they happen to fall, fall like right on the edge they get picked up otherwise they just stay on the stems of the bamboo and and that's fine it's not that big of a deal um, and then down below you can see i have blocked this off just so we don't have to deal with mobs getting in here um, but this is kind of the shenanigans. I didn't really decorate it, didn't want to. Um, so this is the collection system for the kelp. Looks like the kelp farm has been going a little bit. And uh, this minecart keeps stopping because I had to jump through. So we'll just uh, get that guy going. Boom. All right, like so. And so the kelp falls through that little hole that's right there and gets collected and sorted into these chests. These guys obviously do not have any chests hooked up to them. I need to get more wood. We're running out of a few different resources, but you can see it has been collecting up. So quite a bit of bamboo in this one and in this one. Actually, this has some kelp in it very oddly enough, but uh, that's probably because it like fell through or got, I don't know, I don't know exactly how that would have worked, but oh well. Um, so I'm going to block that up just so we don't have mobs come in. And so that is what this farm is now. It's just a bamboo and a kelp farm in the back. You can see kind of back there. We've got a kelp farm that runs all along the back. And for some reason, the water sources at the bottom are not acting as full water sources, even though there are kelp blocks there. So it's a little strange. But if we come up around here real quick, you can kind of see. Yeah, I still have my way up the kelp comes up here it'll get once it reaches these different uh, observers comes up here and then it gets into the water and then falls right on down into this little bit if you didn't know you can use glass panes to push items that into a block but keep it like halfway down that block so it can still fall through that tunnel but it's uh, a glass pane instead of a glass block we are going uh, break my legs uh we're gonna take a nap and then we're gonna go and look at the windmill so as you are gonna be able to see that pillar is about as tall as i want to make the windmill i'm i'm not fully like that's 25 blocks tall um i'm not really sure 25 blocks i should say on top of the already 22 blocks i believe that it is or 11 blocks i don't remember exactly but Essentially, what I want is for the windmill to be able to be seen the actual like blades themselves, but they're not actually going to be blades. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, so it's going to be roughly that tall. And so this is what I'm, I'm kind of envisioning and why I've kept this as a lower farm. Uh, it's a little bit taller than what it originally was, but the goal was that this sticks up and is visible in pretty much all parts of town. Like you still see, obviously, this building would block it. But as soon as you come around here, you would start to be able to see where the windmill is. It'd be right there. You'd start seeing it peek out. 
And then right here, you can see it peeking out over everything. And that is what I want and have been envisioning this whole time is like in almost all locations, you're going to get a glimpse of the windmill right here will be a really great location. And then as you come up this direction, you will get a great vantage point for it, obviously, because there is nothing really blocking it. And uh, I really think that this is also going to be really cool to see, like you'll just have a really great view here. Um, and you can kind of tell from the building, I'm taking inspiration from what we did on this building and making it a little bit more interesting. I need to still get andesite. So this is all going to be andesite. We're not going to just get rid of all the grass and just make it all road. I think that'll be perfectly fine. This, I extended the cliffside, decided to just extend it up against this building. I think that makes more sense than having it be like a weird cliffside um, on the, like, I don't know, like I just didn't feel right. So I decided to just make go ahead and make it all the way up against the building. I think that works fine. The path is probably honestly going to actually wrap around this way closer to this and lead to this side of this. This is going to be the house section. Um, and then out of this portion right here is going to be where the water actually runs. So there's going to be like a grate or something spilling water down into this. And that's where the water is going to filter back in through here. And then I may actually add in just a tiny little like grate at the bottom or something like that to where it just like is constantly filtering through. And so it's like a closed system of water that gets pumped through here, flows through here, and then also gets pumped through here and like just redrains. So this water drains through to the like underground area that they're pulling water from, pull, goes back into there, and then this pulls it back out and filters it through there. And then that water also runs through here and gets filtered back through. So this is what it's looking like so far. No windows, no nothing, no no super crazy designs. Using a little bit of different materials uh, in this one, I didn't want to use tons of quartz, but I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting of a build than just doing what we did on these with the birch and the calcite. Uh, I also just, it was kind of a, I didn't want to use so much calcite because I only found a small geode that was nearby. And so I only had a certain amount of calcite and this is all we have left is five. So we're trying to just be a little bit smart here on resources. I think it looks good so far. Um, so the idea is there may be like a window or something here. I'm not really sure. I don't really think it needs a window, honestly, um, because it, it, like we I'm actually kind of considering doing diagonal windows along this like one block middle pillar. I think that could potentially look good, make it have a little bit more distinct flair going on because I don't think these faces need to have stuff going on. So the idea is the house is going to be here. This is going to be like the owner and operators of the windmill. And we're going to actually do a vertical windmill instead of a horizontal one. Now, when I say vertical, I mean the axis is going to be vertical. So instead of it rotating around horizontally and where the blades spin this way and there's like a beam that rotates around horizontally, uh, it's going to be a vertical axis windmill to where this is actually spinning in like a circle around like this. And that is how it's going to function. It's going to like be pumping water. Then on the inside, the reason why it's a moderately large is because I'm wanting to make like a pulley system of water kind of, I don't know, buckets or something like that to be kind of going down into a, like delving into a bottomless hole that we may do like a the black glass layering effect to where you kind of get a fog and it kind of disappears. I'm thinking that could be kind of cool where the build goes down all the way and just kind of disappears into a hole. And then that is where the water is being pulled up from and dumped through. And so it's just like a big water pulling system. And that's all it's going to be dedicated for. And uh, I think that could be pretty cool. So this is uh, the size of the build. The house is going to be very small, quaint, and not too shabby of a build. Um, and today we may focus, depending upon, since I am pushing this back a week, we are. I'm going to try and get a lot of the interior done. But what I'd like to do now is jump into a bit more of this, build out the blades again in another time lapse, and then we can kind of figure out where we are there and see how long the episode's going to be. And then I may do some interior stuff off camera just to be able to, you know, get it done for you because I want this to be a complete build as well. So let's go ahead and build up the rest of the windmill, the actual portion that is going to be catching the wind 
And then uh, we'll see where we are and how much longer we can go into this episode. Hopefully we can get a good amount done. I really would like to get, get this build done because then that really will almost complete our town. And I think, oh, it's going to be so good. At least this island portion. And we can move on to that other island and the underwater sections. I think it's going to be really fun. So let's get back into the time lapse. I'll see you on the other side. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, moderately done with the windmill. It has taken a different, a uh, different approach than I originally thought. I was going to be going with the, the standard windmill, and then I decided to go on a vertical axis, of course. Um, and it's different. I can't say that it's my favorite build, but I can't say that it's one that I dislike. I think it fits well in the area. It's just different. I think the primary issue is, so there it is. Um, the primary issue is we don't have hardly anything to be able to make this like thin wall look that is white besides diorite. And, uh, I li don't mind the diorite texture. It's just in this context, it's not as good as I would like. So it is not my favorite, but it is not my least favorite. It is kind of just in the middle of the road there. And you know what? I'm perfectly fine with that. I think that's OK. Um, I have been doing some work aside from the time lapse to just finish some stuff out a little bit so the road now goes all the way up i connected up the road here as well so it connects up to the houses i need to do the floors on the houses so it looks like they're actually like you know, done um of course i still need to texture variate and stuff like uh, on these builds but that is stuff i can do over time that is okay and so if we come on up here we've got a bunch of azalea trees here i decided to make it a little bit more natural feeling um and have it just be a little bit more naturey around it instead of trying to fill it out with like buildings and stuff so we've got like the the little house here that is where the person that would be running this would live interior is not done uh did not have time i've been having issues with my account uh also been having just some inspiration issues just really got a mental block on this thing so that's why this video didn't even come out until this uh this week which it was supposed to come out last week so, yeah, there's been some hurdles that I've just been trying to deal with. And I think it's also a little bit of I'm getting more and more mentally ready to move on from this style and this this just area. And so I think it's just I don't know. It's like when you're reaching a burnout point and you're just like, I'm ready, ready for the update. I am uh, very much ready. So 
dealing with that a little bit. But I, I think that this area has turned out pretty nice. So we have a nice little uh, stream here, which the idea is like the windmill will be pulling the water out. And this is the clean water that is uh, being cycled, has been through the uh, bath area and has eventually cooled down, I would imagine, and is now being filtered back through and then somehow makes it back underwater. I don't really know how it seeps through the cracks. I don't know, uh, but makes it through there and then gets recycled back through. Uh, and so now we have this and it's all done and I, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to go into spectator mode just to be able to get a good idea as to what it looks like. So I'm not really going to try too hard on the landscaping aside from adding a few trees and stuff like I did. But I think it looks from a distance. I think it looks pretty cool. If we go around to about here, it's got the grandeur that I was hoping in terms of being able to see it from all angles. So you can see it from from this side, it sticks out and then you can also see it around this area. You can see it just like sticks out from all different angles. And then if you actually are walking around this area, you can see it as you are like going through. And so like from this angle, I really wanted to be able to see it like this and you can see it peeking out over there. And so I just wanted it to be kind of like always in your vision at some in some shape or fashion and i think it is like it peaks out right there and so i think it's really cool i will continue playing with the design a little bit um i'm just not i don't know the the vertical windmills i essentially i went off of an age of empires uh persian style windmill i remember watching a it was an older flip video now um and he did a vertical windmill in a different fashion but based it off of the age of empires persian windmills and so i looked up those and i decided to go instead of going down a uh, more i don't know creative route if you can say like a more original route i actually just decided to just do it the way that it's in that game and so that's why it is very much like this. This is essentially like exactly what their windmills look like. Uh, just I may actually strip the logs. I think that may work a little bit better. I think maybe the oak is just the tiniest bit too uh, vibrant and dark or the spruce, I mean, is a bit too uh, in your face. And so that might help matters. But I'm quite pleased with just it being done. <laughs> it's uh, been something that I don't know why this build in particular like there's some builds that just really, really get you. And this one for me, of course, there's a tree that's like right there. This one for me has been tough. It's been a, a mentally draining one. And uh, I know we're still not done with it. We're going to take uh, the finishing of it in chunks because I think I just need a, a break from this build in particular. This one's just been, it's been a tough one and not really sure why, but you know what? We all deal with those days, but I'm definitely I know I am I am out of time for this and uh, I know that it's already late, so I don't want to keep you any longer. And I am uh, terribly sorry, as I have said before, terribly sorry the video is late. Just trying to survive, basically. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Bruin Build. Uh, uh, bye bye.